Here we are looking at a small industrial flour mill. Got a five horsepower, three phase, 240 volt motor. This mill works on the same order as a Fitzpatrick mill. This unit was made in Canada and the serial number is 99503. This mill comes with all of these components. You've got an extra drive belt, an extra rotor, your temperature gauge to keep track of the temperature of your wheat that you're grinding, and uh, has several magnets. This flour mill also comes with casters, which are easily mounted to the feet, and then this mill can be rolled around in your facility. It also comes with this wrench, which is designed for changing the rotors inside the milling chamber. This mill also comes with its discharge components. It bolts on to the bottom, and then the air is pulled through these holes, and it sucks it out into your flower receptacle. I saved this sample when it came in. This is a hard wheat, and uh, it was able to grind it to this consistency right here. Started with that, and there's a fine screen in there, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is the consistency that it turned out. This is looking inside the flour mill's hopper. It has a sensor there to indicate when it runs out of wheat and it will shut down. The wheat enters the hopper and is discharged down into this auger channel. And then that discharges it into the milling chamber where the rotors grind it up and then it is discharged through this fine screen. This is looking inside the flour mill chamber. You see the rotors, and it's got a uh, real fine screen there. The speed of the metering auger is controlled with this dial. You also have an on and off switch for the metering auger. This is your on and off switch for the whole mill. And then you also have your reset button. There's your meter. The chamber is equipped with this safety switch, which if the door were to come open during operation, shuts the mill down. Here we have the flour mill running for you.